Oh yeah, which one? Yung nanutupo yung laban nyo ng karaan, champ. Yung naputukan kayo dito. Sino ba yung kalaban nyo? Naputukan kayo dito. Dito oh, ba yun? Tapos nabunbunan. Opo. Nakalimutan oh, yung kalaban nyo. Oo, nakalimutan yung kalaban Tapos tinalo nyo. <laughs> yun yung... Oh, yun yung nag-knockout kay Dodie Boy. Knockout si Dodie Boy 11 rounds. Yeah. At saka nang panahon... Naanong ko ito ni... Seven, ay, huwag mata ko. Third round nato, nag-autoga kami. Tapos mga seven rounds, sarado na mata ko. Hindi ko na makita eh. Pag mumunta dito sa kanan. So I'm fighting with one eye from seven to fifteen. Oh, dito, Mali, ayan pa yung cut. Fourteen states sister eh. Mali yung cut niya po dito. Ito. Nakikita niya. Nakikita po. Yeah. Ayan. Uh, uh, ano? Now, Ito, 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 14 stitches. Siguro kayo nakalbo ako dahil kasi kinila ito eh. Tapos tinahi. Tapos hindi na tinubuan ang buhok. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Ah, kaya po pala nag-an na kayo. Kailan pala balik mo siya sa Pinas? Kaya naga... Siguro pag na... Tapos... Pag, pag natapos na siguro yung lockdown, I mean, yeah, yung COVID, then mag, doon ako mag-start mag plano. Magkita tayo, may message kita. Si Gaplano, nagpa-plano ako na may karoon ng kaibigan na si uh, yung taga-Japan na dat- si, Rak- si uh, Willie Hackett Tambol. Sa Japan na siya ngayon, big time na sa Japan din. Sabi niya, uh, pupunta kami doon sa... Siguro po magtuturo kayo ng boxing. Yeah, pwede rin. Ay, pero hindi siguro full time. Baka tulog-tulog lang. Yeah. Si, ano, sir, si Gerald Ubatay, kilala niyo. Yes. Oh, kaya bigyan ng Facebook. Hmm. Hmm. Biro ko kasi ang daming opinion. Binibiro ko sa ito. Sir Gerald, pwede ka naman yung ano, pangulo ng Pilipinas. <laughs> Binibiro ko. <laughs> pwede na siya maging pangulo ng Pilipinas. Hey, uh, uh, okay yan eh. Okay, bigyan sa inyong pakyo eh. Kung ano ang pinagpupush nun eh. Sabi ko, uh, sakto kay Bigay si Senator Pacquiao eh. Pag kumakbong Vice President si Pacquiao, ikaw magpresident eh. Oo. Ano sabi niya? Sabi niyo, hindi eh. pwede. Ano, hindi pwede. Ano <laughs> pambarangay, pambarangay lang daw siya. Pambarangay tanot. <laughs> In this hallowed sports facility right along Vita Cruz, where a big championship event is about to unfold in just a few minutes. Already atop the ring is the good-looking challenger from Bacolod City. His name is Rolando Bohol, and tonight he will be trying to avenge the loss of Dodi Boy Peñalosa on September 5 last year when Chang Ho Choi of Korea wrested the IBF flyweight crown away from the Filipino, thus stripping the Philippines of its only world boxing title. Well, Rolando Bohol comes to the ring with very impressive credentials. He has had a total of 24 bouts, winning 22 of them. Well, actually winning only 21 of them, losing twice by a split decisions and uh, scoring one draw. And we shall have a panel of uh, judges, which will consist of one Filipino judge, one Korean judge, and one neutral judge. The referee, who will not be scoring the fight, uh, is also from a neutral country. They will be properly introduced by our ring announcer, the former lightweight champion of the Philippines back in the late 50s and early 60s, Tommy Romulo, in a very short while. Chang Ho Choi came to Manila about a week ago to get acclimatized to the weather sultry, Manila weather sultry in comparison to Korea, which is now in the grip of one of its worst winters. And he will be emerging from his locker room in a very short while. In case you've just joined us, you're watching Manila Main Event 88, a presentation of Galore de 
Enterprises uh, coming to you over PTV4. And uh, sitting beside me, as always, in these World Championship Affairs is that eminent sports columnist who has made uh, boxing his specialty, Mr. Manny Pignol. Tonight, Joe, uh, Rolando Bohol will try to realize the dream of the late Gabriel Flasse uh -huh. that of giving the Lordes another world champion after Guy, uh, Gabriel himself. Will he be able to do it? I think he will be able to pull an upset tonight. Well, you are not really talking out of your hat when you mention that this is a dream of Gabriel Flash Elorde because Rolando Bohol was a protégé personally trained by the Flash himself before the Flash went to that great boxing arena in the sky two years ago. And Rolando Bohol, before the Flash died, was pegged by the great Elorde as a future world beater. Well, tonight he has come to the crossroads of a brilliant ring career. Tonight it's either the deepest portion of the valley or the peak of the mountain, if we want to be poetic about it. And incidentally, would you like to talk to that good-looking guy beside you, Mr. Pignol? Yes. All the girls have been going back about him since he made his entry. We have here with us uh, Mr. June Sarial, one of uh, the persons behind uh, this title bit of Rolando Ball. And uh, June will be giving us uh, some highlights of uh, Rolando Ball's career. Well, I think uh, this will be one of the hardest fights of the whole. Although I still believe that Bohol has a pretty good chance because uh, the Korean has had weight problem. For the last three days, he's been trying to make this weight. But he made it. That would be one of the factors that uh, I think Bohol's uh, chance to win the title. Uh, just to set the record straight, he made the 100 pound it. limit of yes. the Games and Amusements Board way in this morning, yeah? Yes. Okay, and so the fight will go on. Is it true, June, that... Uh, Chang Ho Choi will be moving up the junior bantamweight division, win or lose tonight. That is what uh, his uh, promoter, Mr. Ho Yun Chun, uh, told us uh, tonight. That uh, win or lose, he may have uh, his boy move to junior, well, junior bantamweight to fight uh, Galaxy of Thailand. Thank you very much, Mr. Jun Sarial, one of the persons behind uh, Rolando Bohol's title bid. And here's Joe Contado once again. Well, actually, you were talking about June Suryal's contribution to putting together this fight. The guy who really moved heaven and earth to get uh, this fight uh, or to turn this fight into a reality is the grand patriarch of Philippine boxing himself, the old man of uh, June Suryal, and that's Papa Lopez Suryal. Because Papa Lopez Suryal himself has had great faith in the ability of Rolando Bohol to wrest the world flyweight title from the Korea. Now, to refresh your memory, on September 5 last year, Chang Ho Choi applied some uh, very controversial tactics in stripping Cody Boy Peñanosa of the IBF uh, World Flyweight Crown. Now, he did that via an 11th round knockout. Now, this Korean is not exactly popular with Filipino fight fans because of the manner in which uh, he took the crown away from Peñalosa. Yes. Well, he has a chance to redeem himself tonight. Uh -huh. In the eighth round of that, uh, of that fight against Peñalosa, Chang Ho Choi hit uh, Dodi Boy with what appeared to be a headbutt that led to the closure of uh, Dodi Boy's uh, left eye and led to, the, to an 11th round knockout uh, loss by Peñalosa. Uh, tonight, Chang Ho Choi is going to erase that memory. It's, it's going to try to erase that memory, that uh, rather the belief that he won his title by a fluke. You know, the referee in that fight came into a lot of flag uh, because people sort of blame him for the way he officiated the fight. Now, I personally am not inclined to heap all the blame on the referee. But anyway, just to set your mind at ease, it's not going to be the same referee tonight. It's going to be a Hawaiian-based uh, uh, official who will act as the third man in the ring. His name is Abe Pacheco. Well, I'm sure you've run into Abe Pacheco in some of the international fights you've been seeing on television, especially those fire satellites. Okay, into the ring comes Chang Ho Choi. And yes, as we expected, he gets a big round of boost. Yes. Instead of an applause, he gets the boost. But this guy is unfazed. He doesn't give a damn about the people. All he cares about is winning a fight. And that's the kind of a stuff that makes for a champion gladiator, Mr. Pignol. <laughs> yes. Whether you like him or not. Mm -hmm. Chang Ho Choi displayed a lot of arrogance in the uh, press or media conference held at the Elordi Sports Complex only last Monday. He said he would rather die than lose to Rolando Bohol. <laughs> well, let's hope we're not going to have a funeral I think when this fight is over. Chang Ho Choi is going to use his uh, fighter advantage to the field uh, tonight, Mr. Jokon.
The run the ball will be digging into that midsection of the Korean. Well, the Korean is three inches taller than Rolando Bohol, an advantage which could be turned into a disadvantage by Rolando Bohol, depending on how he fights this fight. And I know for a fact that his brain trust, Debut Elorde, and his own trainer, uh, Ding Camarela, himself a former world contender, uh, have worked out a very, very smart fight plan to cope with the advantage of the Korean in height as well as his vaunted right straight. Yes, if you would remember, Mr. Cantada, a few months ago we pointed out that uh, Rolando Bohol uh, is, is uh, vulnerable to that right straight, which is Chamo Choi's uh, most potent weapon. Uh, the handlers of Rolando Bohol tried to check that, and they were able to correct that. And they, are, they, they, they uh, are, have instructed Rolando Bohol to bob and weave, to bob and weave, and uh, uh, weave below the right straight of Chang Ho Choi and di uh, dig into the midsection. That's the strategy tonight. Well, the popular feeling among those who were at ringside to watch the uh, press public preview held at the Lorde Sports Complex last Monday is that if the fight is going to go the distance, then Bohol should win it by decision. That, but the Korean will always have the capability to pull off a knockout at any time during the fight because of that strong right hand. Yes. My prediction, Mr. Kantad, at this point is that Bohol will win this fight by decision. If there's any, any knockout, it will be Chang Ho Choi. But his chances of winning this fight by knockout are very slim. Very slim because he doesn't have a very impressive knockout record. To take a look at uh, Rolando Bohol's record, we find that he has only scored three abbreviated bouts in his career, which covers all of 24 fights. On the other hand, Chang Ho Choi has already scored 11 knockouts in 14 victories. Yes. I will be filling you in on more background information regarding these two fighters as we go along. Uh, okay, we'll give you the exact record of Chang Ho Choi right now. It's 14 and 2, which means uh, he has won 14 times and uh, lost twice by decision. He has scored 11 knockouts in those 14 victories. Uh, he wrestled the IBF title from Peñanosa September 5 last year. I've said that already many times. Uh, he is fighting outside of Korea only for the second time. His first time to uh, fight outside of Korea was against Dodi Boy Peñanosa. And what a debut outside of Korea that was, winning no less than a world championship right. right in his first crack. You know, if we're talking of experience, Rolando Bohol is more experienced than uh, Chang Ho Choi. Because before he fought Pedalosa, he fought, uh, Chang Ho Choi only fought uh, twice as a uh, 10-round fighter. Uh, Rolando Bohol, on the other hand, has fought a lot of very, very difficult fights. Although these were against uh, uh, lots of very popular fighters. Ironically, Mr. Pinol, although Bohol has had more experience than Chang Ho Choi, Choi is his senior by uh, two years because Rolando Bohol turned 21 only on Christmas Day last year. That's right, he was born on December 25 of 1966. Yes. While Chang Ho Choi was born February 10, 1964, which means that Choi is actually uh, two years older than uh, Rolando Bohol and Miss Herrera. I would appreciate it very much if you would warn me beforehand before turning the cameras on me. That way I can remove my spectacles, which makes me look like Mr. Scrooge all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, to give you more highlights of Rolando Bohol's career, we'd like to mention uh, that among his most prominent victims are uh, Alan Makitoki, Manase Pase and Castino Simbahon. His last fight was a unanimous decision victory over Rob Nikoni of August 30 last year. We covered that at the Elodie Sports Complex. Yes, we did. And uh, another very interesting facet of Rolando Bohol uh, the, is that he is a rarity among Filipino fighters in the sense that he is one of the very few we know who was able to finish high school and is now currently taking a free college courses. And yes. And he's planning to become a priest afterwards, or an engineer, uh, Joe. A priest? Yes. I also dreamed of becoming a priest at one time, and no, you will not believe that, Mr. Pignon. <laughs> I, I do believe you. I have faith in you, my friend. <laughs> but anyway, Rolando Bohol has some great plans ahead of him. So whether or not he succeeds in taking the crown away from Chang Ho Choi tonight, uh, one thing is certain, this boy will certainly not wind up in uh, Paluka Alley. Yes. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It has been exactly three weeks ago that the uh, Filipino nation roared in jubilation over the dramatic retaking of the World Flyweight Championship by an obscure and very self-effacing young man at the expense of an arrogant and high-flown Korean. Anyway, today, uh, coffee shop circles, barber shop circles, and even sari sari store circles are still abuzz with lively talk about what has to be one of the most dramatic 
one of the most brutal, one of the most bloody, and one of the most fiercely fought championship fights in Philippine history since the glory days of Gabriel Flash Elorde and the Trela in Manila. Well, today, specifically tonight, we are going to respond to the clamor of millions of boxing fans throughout the archipelago. Yes, you know, after the fight, Joe, many people were asking me, when is the replay? Tonight is the replay. So, uh, stay with us and witness how Rolando Bohol won the world flyweight crown. And the blue weighing 111 and a half pounds, the foremost challengers, the Philippines' brightest hope for the new world title, our very own Rolando Bohol. The lethal weapon lying at that right hand of King Rock is unfamiliar territory to both uh -huh. protagonists. And the more physically conditioned fight of the night. Bohol scoring heavily in round one. He's been knocked down in his career too. And Rolando Bohol knows that. Here comes in. A left-hander usually is a soccer to the right side, Joe. He the Korean from Spain. A tremendous left uppercut by Rolando Bohol. And the Korean was stopped dead in his right. Bohol did the fighter. Yes. Good. Oh, has to be good. Fighter. Rolando Bohol has never been knocked out or knocked down in his good life. Good touch the midsection. Louis Ray scored it. One for this one for Toy and one for the five for the whole. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, we have a champion. As we gain the IBF yes, World Flyway Crown, we have Rolando Mohol. Mohol is the new Flyway Champion of the International Boxing Federation.